So Navigos, welcome to Ahoy Navigos, let your dreams set sail. Today we are going to discuss about using Admiralty Tide Tables, Volume 1 specifically. As you know, tides are different for different places and are tabulated in Tide Tables. For the purpose of exam, we are using ATT 1992 selected pages from Volume 1, 2 and 3 for your view. Let's look into the general layout of volume 1. This is the first page of Admiralty Tide Tables, volume 1, 1992. This is for European waters, including Mediterranean Sea. You can see English South Coast Dover and the daily predictions of tides in the places. You can see only 4 months, Jan, Feb, March and April. This is because this is only the selected pages of Admiralty Tide Tables and you can see the daily predictions and height and ranges of tides now look into this this is the time zone utgmt this is because it's in england that means all the tides given out here are in the local time the time zone of the place will be given in the top but you don't need to convert because all the time given is in local time and local time directly you can use now look into this these are the height of tides on the right side and the left side you can see the time at which this height of tides are occurring and the dates this symbol indicates full moon this dark circle indicates full moon and the circle with no inner filling and a blank circle indicates new moon now let us look into the tidal graph as you have already seen this tidal graph for volume 1 you have different graphs for each standard ports but in case of volume 2 and 3 you have only a single graph for whole ports under the that particular now look into this these are the main ranges spring and neap this is also an indication for the finding mean high water spring and mean high water neap for the particular standard port this dash indicates the spring and the dotted lines indicate the neaps also this is used for various calculation of tide problems for a particular time of a standard port in the top left corner you can see high water heights in meters that's graduated from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 etc and also you can see the mean high water neap and mean high water spring marked along the graduation that's also included here also in the bottom left corner you can see low water heights in meters that's graduated from 0 2 3 4 5 6 7 also the mean low water spring and mean low water neap also included now look at the bottom of the curve you can see the high water minus 1 2 3 4 hours and high water plus one two three four seven hours now what you can see are the factors factors these are the factors are the scale on a tidal curve represent the proportion of the range for that tide this is not normally used nowadays but this can be used in useful for predicting tides for places where having unusual tides now let us look into the correction tables if you go down in the tidal tables you will be ending up with this page this is called tidal correction table here you will be seeing all the standard ports and the secondary ports coming under them there will be dark bold letter written that are the standard ports and the light ones are the secondary ports coming under them these can be seen throughout the following pages if you look into it you can see the standard port will be in the bold letters here it's Shoreham and the place it's English Southeast Coast and you can see the time differences written for high waters and low waters and there is a range at the bottom that is used for the interpolation 05, 100, 100, 1700, 2200 also on the right side you can see the height differences that is used for the interpolation of height these time corrections are separate for each secondary ports and this is related to the dover port times of tide 
so we apply the correction to the Dover standard ports to get to the secondary port time of height of tide similarly you get the range so that you have to interpolate for the time to get the correct value of secondary port tide correction to apply for the tide timings next on the right side you have the correction factors for height of tides similar way for the Dover particular day heights of tide you need to apply the correction for the secondary port which is need to be interpolated now at the bottom you can see that seasonal changes in mean sea level this is also used for the tidal calculation because there is a seasonal correction on the left hand side you can see the number that is a number of secondary ports you can see the range in between which you come and the month and you will get the value